Robert, I finally had a chance to fly one of your products. I was out in the CH750 Cruiser uh, a few moments ago. 130 horsepower, and that little critter is basically a freight elevator to altitude. At the same time, no slouch in the speed department. But from an engine standpoint, very smooth, very simple, on, off, go fast, go slow, and about as smooth as a sewing machine. Nice job. Good. Yeah, that's a, the 130 horsepower has proved a popular engine choice because it's in a sweet spot. There's really not another engine that develops that power for that weight. So it's worked out real well for us. Describe to me right now the product line. What is available to the sport aviation aficionado at this point? For airplanes, we have eight engines, starting with the 97 horsepower on up to this engine here is 200 horsepower. And basically it's a combination, the same technology in all the engines, but we basically have a narrow engine, low and high compression, and then four cylinder versus six cylinder. So that's how we get the eight different engine combinations. What are you bringing to the market that you thought was absent? The way UL Power started was a helicopter company in Europe was having trouble getting off the ground with the engine they had. So they went to this company called DR Tuning and said, can you modify this engine, get us more power? And so they said, yes, they did it. And they said, okay, now we're going to buy 80 engines and modify them all for us. And they said, that's ridiculous. We can build you a whole new engine, brand new engine for less money, and you get more power. It's new technology. It's new materials. It's all computer designed, computer manufactured. And so you're just able to get, you know, good power with new technology, new materials for a lot less weight. And so, you know, at this engine here, we actually have 200 horsepower. So it's 20 horsepower more than the light combing and 100 pounds lighter than the light combing. So it's enabling new airplane designs. How would you describe this breed of engines to the person who's looking at you versus the competition? Competition has totally changed because now that we've got the big six-owner engine, we're competing more with light combing and continental. So in the smaller and the light sport category, the big difference is we're direct drive, we're air-cooled, and more horsepower than the competition in the light sport. And now with the light combings, we're just a lot lighter. Plus, we're all new technology. You know, all the engines are the same. They're direct drive, air-cooled, dual electronic ignition, multi-point fuel injection, and FADEC. So in the cockpit, all you have is the throttle. There's no primer, no choke no carburetor heat, no mixture. You're just pushing the throttle and go. Where do you see the future for this? What are you looking to do? Uh, where do you want to see UL Power position from here? What's nice is we're right now on the cusp on the six-cylinder engine. Within one or two months, we'll have RANS, Just Aircraft, both putting 180 horsepower. Arian Aircraft is putting 160 horsepower in the Lightning. So it's enabling a whole new category of airplanes that didn't exist before. Here's the big question. How do you compare price-wise? Price-wise, in the specific sector, so you have to compare, you know, at 97 horsepower, we're less than the Rotax. At 130 horsepower, a little bit more than the Rotax. So people compare the 130 with the Rotax, but there's really no comparison. It's a different engine, so it's not really fair. And then, then that's the carbureted Rotax. You know, if you go with the 912 IS or the 914, you get more, more power or fuel injection, but it's a lot more expensive. So really, compared to the Rotax, we're, we're less. Compared to the Lycoming, it depends if you buy an existing engine, a used engine, and overhaul it. If you buy a brand new Lycoming out of the box, it's more money. And what's nice about our engines, typically with the manufactured airplane engine, you budget about half the purchase price for overhaul. Our engines are looking about at a third of the purchase price for the overhaul. What about maintenance? What does it take to stay on the good side of your engine? What's nice is it's very simple. It's easy to install. It's got a lot of components. Probably the most difficult thing for the builder to do or the owner operator is check the valves. We went with the mechanical valves because we feel that a hydraulic valve can hide a problem. So if you adjust the valve, you check a valve and you have to adjust it and you fly it and then you, you know, next annual you're checking the valves again. It's the same one as out of adjustment. We want you to look and see why. Then you might be able to find a problem that the hydraulic valve might mask and so that way you can fix it before it becomes a catastrophic problem. When somebody orders an engine from you, tell me the, what the process is. Where does this come from? What's your role in it? The engines come from Belgium. They're designed and manufactured in Belgium. They buy the crank, they buy the pistons, everything else they machine themselves in-house. And that way they can control their lead times very well. And then today, like with Zenith, for instance, we're in the Zenith booth here. If you're building a Zenith, you can just call Zenith, say, I want you all power. And Zenith's developed the firewall forward kit. So you order the engine from Zenith, and you get the firewall forward kit from Zenith, and then it all comes to you together as one shipment. Or you can pick it up at Zenith. If you're building an airplane, and that airplane manufacturer doesn't have a firewall forward kit, then contact me, and I can sell people engines individually. If they can't do the engineering on the mount, then we've got people that can help them do the mount and the cowl. Part support? All the parts are through me, and then what I encourage people to do is if they keep consumables on hand, so if they, you know, they're doing routine maintenance, they've got the parts, they don't have to worry about it, and then if it's, you know, something that uh, isn't a consumable, that something might break, like a component fails, like an injector or something, and then I've got all of those here in the U.S. Robert, thank you for your time. I appreciate it.
Aero TV is brought to you by... The aviation industry is far too automated and impersonal. Levels of care, service, and focus on customers have faded. Concierge provides premier customer care, leading our industry on a return to service. Find us at www.concierge.aero. Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all-new Bristol. Fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristol.com. Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim.